fragrant friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Perfume Geek and my name is Jada and I am here today to talk about a couple of things. The first thing is going to be announcing the winner of my Mother's Day Smell My Mama giveaway. I'm going to announce that in just a minute. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about what's going on in my perfume world this week. Now that uh, spring and summer are definitely here, we've had some blazing hot days. And tonight I'm in a sweatshirt because it's like rainy and gray and kind of making me cold with the air conditioner running. So you just never know what you're going to get around here. But anyway, let's do our giveaway winner first. Um, as I told you a week before Mother's Day, um, I did a whole, and I'll link the video below. I talked about some scent memories that I have. One including my mom uh, with her scent signature of Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds and uh, decided to give away a little bottle of that. So for those of you that entered, thank you so much for entering. The winner, which was chosen randomly by a website called Will Decide, is Angela Petre. So Angela, thank you so much for commenting under that video. Uh, I will be messi messaging you tonight and uh, get this out to you when I hear back from you and I'll definitely throw in a few samples and whatever other little goodies I can find. But thank you, congratulations, and I hope you enjoy smelling like my mama. Alright, so let's talk about what's happening in my perfumed world this week. Um, I've been having some perfume fatigue. I wonder if you guys have ever experienced that same thing, perfume fatigue where I just have not been in a mood to wear perfume. I don't know if it's the heat and humidity uh, or, you know, just for whatever reason, I just have not been reaching for perfume every single day like I normally do. Uh, I will say that winter, fall and winter are the times that I do reach for perfume almost every day. In spring and summer, I don't so much, and I don't know why that is. But, anyway, I thought I would share with you guys uh, several perfumes that are a mainstay of my spring and really hot summer day collection. We'll go over those and then I've got a couple of oddball things that I use in place of perfume that I'll talk about. And then of course we'll do our scent of the week because Perfume Geek always gives you a scent of the week. So let's talk about what I'm doing to treat this malady of perfume fatigue. Uh, one perfume that has all, that always works and I never mind wearing it, especially in the heat of summer, is Pomelo Paradis. I think some people pronounce it Pomelo, but uh, I've always heard it called Pomelo, so that's what I'm going to call it. This is Atelier's Pomelo Paradis. I'm going to read the notes to you. Uh, Pomelo Paradis is translated loosely from the French as Grapefruit Paradise. The notes are Floridian Pink Pomelo, Black Currant Bud, Calabrian Mandrium, Moroccan Orange Blossom, Bulgarian Rose, Chinese Mint, and a base of Vetiver, Iris, and Amber. But, you know what? I don't smell any of the notes other than Floridian Pink Pomelo. That is all my nose smells. And it smells so good, so authentic, so crisp and clean, just like you are sitting there with a, a dish of Pomelo right in front of you. It's fantastic. Uh, longevity, eh, maybe four to six hours if I'm lucky, usually about four hours, and then I need to reply, uh, reapply, which with this little bottle is no problem to do. Um, I love it, and this will be one that I will bet that I might finish before the end of summer because I'm just enjoying it so much. So this is Atelier Pomelo Paradis. Alright, so our second choice for spring and summer and to combat my perfume fatigue is one that I've talked about before. Uh, this is Jo Malone's English Pear and Freesia. This is a cologne, which I really enjoy in spring and summer. I like colognes. I like, well I always like light, very moderate to low sillage perfumes, but colognes are perfect for summer, especially in the heat of Georgia. The notes listed for this are just ripened pears, freesia, in a base of amber patchouli and woods. But this is very straightforward pear and freesia. Primarily pears. It is perfect 
anytime, anywhere, uh, work. It's great in the evening. It's great in the morning. It's great on the weekends. Longevity, again, eh, four to six hours, closer to four uh, in the heat. A little bit better longevity in the fall and winter. But Joe Malone English Pear and Freesia is a great choice for the summer dog days, which are straight ahead of us. All right, so let's go with our third choice. This is actually a little scent bird spray that I've had. Um, I've put uh, close to halfway finished with it, and um, if I ever do catch another full bottle of this out in the stores, I will snatch it up. This is Versace Versense. This is an older perfume. It's been around several years, and the, the notes are bergamot, green mandarin, fig, sea lily, cardamom, jasmine, cedar, sandalwood, olive wood, and musk. Um, this is just a very crisp bergamot, primarily. Um, citrus is the main player here. But there's enough green and enough spice, just that little bit of green and spice, to really just smell fabulous in the heat without being overwhelming. Now this uh, particular perfume is one that does last on my skin all day, six to eight hours. Uh, but of course being in this little scent bird container, it's easy to pop it in my purse and I can reapply if I need to. I rarely do need to. Uh, but this is Versace for Scents, and it is definitely one of my spring and summer standbys. It always works even when I have a little bit of perfume fatigue. Versace for Scents. Alright, so now I'm going to go off the track just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, this is a perfume channel, so I can't go off the track too much. Uh, but one thing that I find useful when I, I'm kind of in a that period of not wanting to wear a lot of perfume is I will sometimes make the switch to essential oils applied directly on the skin. And I have two that are great any time of year, but particularly this time of year in the spring and summer. I will sometimes leave perfume aside altogether and just put a couple drops of essential oil on my skin. And that will do the trick. It'll, it'll give me that fresh, clean smell that I'm looking for without being overpowering or getting on my nerves if I'm really not in the mood for perfume. This particular blend is called Citrus Blend. You can get all Citrus Blend essential oils pretty much anywhere if it sells essential oils. This brand happens to be the doTERRA brand and the notes for this blend are wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, bergamot, tangerine, clementine, with just that little hint of vanilla to bring it all together. And we have interested in our essential oil citrus blend. This is Shadow, guest starring in this video again. Hello, Shadow. Uh, tell your crowd hello. Uh, but anyway, back to the doTERRA citrus blend. If I'm not in a per mood to wear perfume, what I can do is just take an, a drop or two, no more than two, because this stuff is very concentrated. And just tap it on the wrist. And it is so, I mean, that mix of citrus is just amazing when it's this concentrated. Um, and it stays on the skin a mighty long time. Of course, it's a little tiny bottle. You can chuck in your purse and reapply it if you want to. But uh, that is a great uh, substitute for perfume when I want to smell nice and fresh without really dealing with sillage or anything. Very close to the skin. So that's a citrus blend of essential oil. Now, if I'm in the mood for something a little more grounding, a little more woodsy, I might reach for an essential oil such as this Balance Grounding Blend. And depending on the brand of essential oil that you happen to have or that you're shopping for, it'll have different names. But look for oils that are described as a grounding blend. This is a woodsy, spicy blend, but it's not overpowering. The notes of this particular mix are spruce, hoewood, Frankincense, blue tansy, and blue chamomile. It is very relaxing. It is very grounding. It does have a tendency to change my mood to a very calm and relaxed mood when I wear it, and I love it for that. Uh, and so when I'm not in the mood for a citrus, maybe try grounding blends such as balance. All right, I'm going to tell you another trick that I have. 
job when I'm suffering from perfume fatigue and I don't know when it's going to pass by and I can get back to perfumes. And that is to use bath salts that have scent added to them. My daughter made up this batch of bath salt and she has called this, she names her own salt, she has called this Improv Stress Relief. And really this is just a mixture of Epsom salt, baking powder, um, if we have Dead Sea salts available, which we do right now, um, she'll add a little bit of that. And then in this particular blend, she added the Calming Blend, Lavender, Geranium, and Clary Sage. And this is a fantastic mix uh, late at night and you're tired and you want to take a hot bath before you go to bed. This is so good. It really is a good stress reliever. And when you get out of the tub, your skin smells fantastic. The bathroom smells good. It's just good stuff. And it's great to go to sleep with. And uh, as I said before, my 16-year-old daughter makes this from time to time. Almost 16. She's almost 16. So this is our Improv Stress Relief Bath Salt, handmade. And if you want the recipe for it, I'm sure I can talk her into letting me leave that in the comments for you to try yourself. All right, so let's do one last thing before we close this video, and that's just to talk about our scent of the week. And the scent of the week is a freebie that I got in the mail. Um, I recently placed an order with Demeter Fragrances. I will be talking in depth about the ones that I purchased in a couple more weeks right before Father's Day. That's your hint. Uh, but one of the freebies that I got with my order was Demeter New Leaf. Uh, I think it's one of their newer scents, and it is my scent of the week because it is fresh and green. It is supposed to invoke or evoke the scent of new leaf buds. So that fresh baby greenery and maybe just a little bit of fresh, wet soil, but really mostly the greenery. This is awesome. Um, I don't know that you want to wear new leaf all the time uh, unless you just really like the smell of straight on green, but this is great. Sometimes I'll pop this on my wrist right before bed and you just climb in bed and you smell all fresh and clean and particularly if you've got uh, the bath salt going on, this is great. So this is Demeter New Leaf, and um, this might still be the free item that you get on the Demeter website right now. So check out the Demeter website. I will link their website in the comments below. So that is this video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more content like this, or you can give me a thumbs down if there's something different that you want to see. Again, congratulations to An Angela Petre for winning the Smell My Mama contest. I hope you enjoy uh, Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds and whatever little samples I throw into your box. Um, as always, stay fragrant, my friends, and until next time, take care. We'll see you next time.